Governor Henry McMaster is weighing in on finances for a new health system in the state. The governor denied a request by leaders of Greenville Health System and Palmetto Health to refinance $1.5 billion in debt. The two companies announced the formation of a new company, currently called SC Health Company, over the summer. Our Aaron Rodgers has more on why the governor made his decision. This letter, written by Governor McMaster, tells the leaders of Greenville Health System and Palmetto Health that he can't help them refinance their debt. The newly created South Carolina Health Company wanted to refinance around $1.5 billion of debt, with most of the costs coming from Palmetto Health. Last month, Greenville and Oconee County Councils voted against the debt restructuring, while Richland and Sumter County Councils voted for it. The governor writes that he couldn't approve restructuring bonds that would make county facilities in Greenville and Oconee counties liable for pH debt when there are strong objections. Governor McMaster shared the same concerns that we had. Greenville County Councilman Ennis Fant told me council delayed a vote on the hospital debt restructuring for two reasons. Was it really fair? for the taxpayers of Greenwood County and Oconee County to take on the $800 million debt that really belonged to Toomey Hospital in Sumter uh, and Palmetto Health uh, in, in Richland County. The other is... There's a lawsuit that questions the hospital's authority to dissolve itself as a political subdivision and establish itself as a private nonprofit. Council wants that to be settled first. Once the court issues resolved, I think the Greenville County Council would be willing to revisit it and probably would pass it. The hospital released a statement saying they're disappointed by the governor's decision, but have continuously said taxpayers would not bear the burden of the debt. However, council says until the hospital is a private nonprofit and not under the county, there's still a small possibility of that happening. So if they default, the county's still on the hook for it. Now, the likelihood of the defaulting is unlikely. In Greenville, Aaron Rodgers, 7 News. GHS says it'll look at other options to save some of the nearly $100 million in interest payments that the refinancing would have saved.